Hey YouTube, Steve Summers here. Uh, here's a quick overview of the uh, shop at work. Uh, to the right you see we have a belt and disc sander. Uh, we also have a blast cabinet. You know, general uh, workbench and, and uh, small arbor press. Uh, we also have a really nice big do-all uh, bandsaw. Nice Wilton uh, uh, drill press that uh, I wish I owned one like this. Big nice table, uh, coolant ready, uh, gear driven. You know, really nice uh, keyed foot. Uh, all the good stuff that you want on a uh, on a drill press. Multiple stops. Um, you know, uh, two directional uh, spindle. Uh, a real pleasure to use and uh, a real upgrade from the uh, you know general uh, uh, cheap uh, drill press presses that most of us uh, own including myself um, here's our lathe it's uh, I think it's four feet between centers a nine inch swing over the gap and like a 14 inch swing through the gap uh, I don't like this machine uh, very much at all um, it's an Asian machine, uh, really, uh, in my opinion, uh, cheaply made. Uh, I think, uh, you know, my lathe, which is a Hindi, a 16-inch by 3-foot uh, that I have in my home shop, is uh, much more convenient to use. I mean, it is so much more user-friendly than this machine here. Uh, this machine does have some, some benefits, but uh, it has a power traverse on the saddle and on the uh, uh, cross slide which really uh, speeds up work uh, here. Uh, I work at a research facility uh, and I've uh, worked here about 10 years and uh, really enjoy my job. I build uh, um, test rigs for uh, you know some of the scientists around here. You know here's our basic uh, hold down and end mill our uh, steady rest, our milling vise, or you know, small collet chuck, and uh, some angle plates and big four jaw. Uh, this is just where we keep, you know, uh, some indicators and whatnot. And to the left here, we have a really nice milling machine. Uh, it's a sharp, it's a 10 by 50 on the table. Much better than uh, Sorry, I'm, I'm hand-holding here, and I'm sure the audio is not great. But anyway, uh, it's a two-axis CNC, uh, super nice machine, uh, real pleasure to use with the uh, variable speed head. Uh, like I said, a real, real pleasure to use over the uh, old manual bridge ports. Uh, mine is a bridge port clone that is uh, way beyond its expiration date. Uh, you know, with mine's a nine by forty-two, and uh, this is a uh, super nice machine that will spoil you right here. Um, okay, to the uh, to the left here, we have a Kalamazoo uh, bandsaw. I don't know what the actual uh, uh, size is on it, but it's a super nice saw. Uh, really uh, makes uh, quick work of. Uh, you know, cutting pieces to, to length. Uh, this is a research facility here, not a production shop. Uh, we do all just one-offs here. Um, I spend a lot of time in, in this shop. Uh, it's pretty messy at the moment, but uh, there's a lot of work that goes on in here. This is one of my favorite little lathes that we have here at the uh, research facility. Uh, it's a Maximat uh, Super 11. It's got the induction hardened uh, ways, and uh, I'm not for sure on the swing. It's not that big. I'd say it's a you know eight inch, six or eight inch, but uh, it's got a six jaw uh, buck chuck on it, which is really nice. Uh, we don't have a four jaw for this uh, at the moment, but uh, if I wanted or if I needed a smaller lathe, uh, I would look for something like this. Uh, real pleasure to use, you know, real quick and easy. Uh, not good for hogging any material, but for small precision pins and whatnot, it really uh, does a great job. 
there's our C5s, uh, collets, uh, and just, you know, all around. Uh, uh, here we have, uh, you know, just a stock shelf. There's our, in the background, here's our shear, uh, and also a finger brake or box brake, and just general stock, uh, nuts and bolts. Uh, like I said, I've worked here for 10 years, and this is this is just the shop of the of the facility. But uh, you know, we do a lot of uh, experimental rigs, you know, CO2 capture and whatnot, and I uh, really enjoy it. Uh, maybe uh, uh, later on tonight, uh, if we get a chance, we'll put up a video on uh, scraping the compound of the shaper. But uh, you know, uh, just want to say thanks, and uh, if you get a chance, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll uh, try to keep putting up uh, more videos that are hopefully somewhat interesting. Thanks, everybody.